the only creature on the planet she fears is another one of her kind. Two hundred twenty million years ago, there's only one giant continent called Pangaea. It is a harsh place, mostly covered by deserts. This line of ancient reptiles has met all challenges for more than 100 million years. But now there's something new. A family of reptiles destined to shape the course of life on Earth for the next 160 million years. These are the first dinosaurs. This small raptor has survived the drought along with others of her kind. But they have now been joined by another type of dinosaur. A herd of platysauruses has been drawn to the river. It is hard to believe that these four-legged giants are related to their small cousins. But they are a plant-eating dinosaur. Their size is the key to their success. At four tons, they are just too big to be threatened. This is the shape of things to come, and their descendants will only get larger. Further down the river is one of the period's most interesting animals. This is a connecting link between the reptiles and the mammals. As he runs, his backbone moves from side to side like a reptile's. But he has hair and lives in a burrow like a mammal. Deep inside, his mate sleeps on a bed of lichen. The bond between them is strong, and they pair for life. Like all land reptiles, they lay eggs. But after hatching, their young are very dependent and spend most of their months feeding from special milk glands on their mother's stomach. The Jurassic is a time of colossal seagoing monsters. Full of creatures bristling with spikes and clubs. Horns and frills. And mountains of flesh so huge they shook the ground beneath them. One hundred and twenty-five million years ago, slow movement of the continents is breaking up the northern and southern land masses, raising sea levels, and opening up new seaways and coastlines. Where once there was solid land, now there are rigid cliffs filled with flying reptiles called pterosaurs. Pterosaurs have been around for one hundred million years, and some species are now huge. Wingspans of 20 feet are common, but there is a species that dwarfs them all. This giant is 40 feet from wingtip to wingtip, with a body bigger than a man's. He is the undisputed king of the skies. This little mammal is a scavenger. She is a marsupial and specializes in raiding abandoned dinosaur nests. This evening, she thinks she is in luck. Unfortunately, the smell of food has blinded her to the danger.
65 million years ago, a meteor just 10 miles wide abruptly ended the reign of the dinosaurs. Three thousand miles to the north, the effects are about to arrive. The light from the impact fades in silence. The shockwave arrives. Next comes the blast front. starts to fall out of the darkening sky. The meteor hit the Gulf of Mexico with a force of 10 billion Hiroshima bombs. With the catastrophic climate changes that followed, 65% of all life died out. It took Earth millions of years to recover, and when it did, the dinosaurs were gone forever. It is a time called the Eocene, and Earth has healed itself from the ravages of the massive meteor strike. A lot has changed since the time of the dinosaurs. It is hotter now, and tropical rainforests have sprung up on every continent. The top predator now are the dinosaurs' direct descendants, the birds. There are many varieties in this weird habitat, and the largest is a thousand pounds of muscle and feathers, and is as tall as a grown man. From small beginnings, mammals are now prepared to take over the world. Over the course of 40 million years, mammals have become more and more successful until they are the biggest, fiercest, and most spectacular animals on the planet. Whatever the climate and whatever the habitat, mammals made it their own. Their great strength was the ability to adapt. They grew in huge sizes, they evolve into powerful killers and they laid their claim on the oceans. And then, around six or seven million years ago, we have our first ancestor that is not also an ancestor of any other living creature. This is Tumai. It is the oldest known hominin and dates between six and seven million years ago. Aurorin dates about six million years ago and was probably bipedal. Artipithecus lived from 5.8 to 4.4 million years ago. This is Kenya Anthropus from 3.5 million years ago. This is Lucy and Australopithecus afarensis from 3.2 million years ago. Meet Australopithecus africanus. He is from 2.5 million years ago. Homo habilis from 1.9 million years ago was found with tools. Homo ogaster dates to 1.6 million years ago. Homo erectus lived from 1.8 million years ago until 300,000 years ago. This specimen is from 500,000 years ago.
This woman is the mother of all mankind, the common ancestor from whom we all descend. She lived 150,000 years ago in East Africa, and everyone on earth is related to her.